Hello everyone, hello. Sasa right here with more Warhammer 40k Inquisitor Martyr. What was I looking at here? Uh, so we got our passes, we got our rogue deeds, character sheet. Oh, we got nothing to put in there. Okay, level 53, we did a mission there. Uh, we're working on the main story quest, the Van Winter Legacy. Let's talk to Grexus, who we just rescued. My sweet Ragnar. What a cheerful sight for these sore eyes. Captain Grexus, I haven't seen you since you vanished without a trace, right after you were proved innocent. It was shameful of me, I know, but I simply couldn't bear to witness how others suffered for your father's misgivings. You are talking about a house purged for charges of heresy. House Van Winter was filled with shady elements, no question about that. Some of them even kept me as a prisoner. Your point being? Not all of them are backstabbing scoundrels. Ragnar deserves a clean slate, and you won't find a better ally in the sector. Apart from old Grexis, of course. Start with telling me where I can find the Cavalier. I overheard my former crew members gossiping about this cult, and a world they were planning to visit with the ship. I'll give your navigator the coordinates. Wintrigue. Why is it so quiet? I don't understand how I thought it that. Well, I'm just out of beans. Hang on. We got ourselves a... This one is rotten egg or buttered popcorn. Buttered popcorn. Okay. Thank you, Wintrigue, for that quote. But here we are, guys. We're gonna join another mission here. Hunt for the flagship. The void station of the Van Winter House held valuable information. The logbook of the family is still on their flagship, the Astute Cavalier. If I find this vessel, I may gain access to the ancient secrets of the family and finally learn where the ancestor of the Van Winters took the Uther Tiberius millennia ago. Nathaniel Grexis, captain of the Road Trader House, will help me trace the mysterious ship. You don't remember saying that? Chances are, um, it was, uh, something taken out of context, knowing my viewers. You're going back to the, you're going to the back doctor soon? Now, is this, like, a actual, like, doctor doctor, or is it a chiropractor? Your mom called and asked for a pan back that she gave you when you moved here, and you use a lot? I didn't know you used any any dishes a lot. I assume that you just never cooked and just ate Mr. Noodles or uh, ramen and other instant meals. Explain. They must have changed her name. And how are you planning to find her? Trust old Grexis, Inquisitor. This upper hive is home to an enclave where the notable merchant princes lodge when they're passing through. All those Captain Fancy Pants, you see, not my lot. But they know all about the ships and the local systems. You are forgetting the small matter of a demonic outbreak. I assume you microwave. Uh, trust those. me, those captains will be fine. All nice and cozy in their fortified palaces, waiting for the right time to make a run for it. Take me to the Enclave, and I'll make sure they help us. That said, though, PMN, you could stand the benefit to learn how to cook a, a, a bunch of things. Grexus, you seem to be I mean, I can too. troubled by this I know, I, 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 I can cook a few things, but I like learning how to cook a few things. That and your bottles of answers. Can you use your fucking ability? Okay, here goes. That's fine. Just, just don't, don't use it. I want to live to serve the Imperium. He's just cancelled out of her ability twice. You wish you were more interested in cooking, but you're just not. I mean, I get that. I like the act of cooking. I don't like the act of crap, though. Like, I don't like cutting up the food. I don't like doing any of that crap, but I like cooking itself. My dad, uh, 
makes fun of me for expediting the process though. Like, uh... I use a rice cooker to cook my rice, and he's like, all about, uh... Putting it in a pot, watching it, measuring it, and all this, and when I can just put it in the rice cooker and just forget about it while I get a click that it's done. Let me tell you, my rice cooker, God said, I love my rice cooker. All these little fucks. So I like killing these little horned enemies because um, they give you a ton of uh, points towards the, your embodied saint buildup. I'll try to have fun. Windshake, I slept last night. The full night. And I woke up today and my leg was stiff, but not as bad as it has been. Hey Jeremy, welcome. Stop lying. I was lying earlier on my back. Loading. Loading. The is Holy shit, there's a lot of enemies over here. Hang on. Oh my god, it's not working. Just a bunch of bullet enemies. Uh, Jeremy, you get upset when people tell you that PMF is not flop. You're here until the eclipse starts, and then you're gonna go stare at the sun. Time to make the eclipse start. What were you thinking? I will accompany you, Grexis. With all due respect, Inquisitor, someone needs to fend off the tide of chaos while I sit down with these esteemed gentlemen for a nice chit chat. You are truly trying my patience. Thing is, I can't see anyone else here with the proper credentials to do this. I'll take care of the filth. Hurry up, Grexis. Oh, gotta take out waves. Suspicious lot. <laughs> Today marks two once in a lifetime occurrences a total eclipse and him that's showing up the stream. Alright, all right, give me a sec. Thank you. I will do that.
Reborn Warmint. Teleport beacon in range. <sighs> yeah, Jeremy, thank you for that. I will. Grexus, I need an update. You are really taking your time. Do you have any idea how hard it is to obtain an audience with these people? In a palace surrounded by chaos? Tell them that the Inquisition is taking care of the situation. Now! Yeah. Tell you that you uh, they will play you alive. Uh, man, it was really funny hearing him saying so that they should remake uh, episodes four, five, and six of Star Wars yesterday. Oh shit! Look at all these dudes. I know he was just joking and being controversial, like the same does, but. Uh, Always reminds me of that time I got someone threatened to murder me because I, uh, I said they should remake. <laughs> you told your sales rep that? Did he cry? That wouldn't be funny. Oh, I have some splendid rumors for you, Inquisitor. Do you know where the ship went? What? Not yet. But these captains have some interesting stories about a Herman Van Winter. Did you know that he got his mittens on a rare artifact? A strange navigational tool of questionable origin? That's where all his troubles began. I'm not in the mood for your tales. Get me to the Cavalier. Aye, Inquisitor. By the time you're finished with the invaders, I'll have the coordinates. Saint Paul. Having a very rough day, I heard. Well, I heard a portion of it. Teleport beacon in range. Have you considered not having a rough day? I have any feeling in your right leg. Have you considered Loading. going to the hospital? Not having feeling in your right leg is not a normal situation, and yeah. Reloading. to go to the hospital here. Have you considered asking the hospital for just room and board, by the way? Like maybe we can pay them cheaper rent.
I like the background, by the way. Like these big city backgrounds are very cool. Is here. Oh, we got our uh, body same form too. Cool. That'll be good for when we get ambushed here. Hey, Grexus. All clear, Grexus. I'm still waiting for the coordinates you promised. Allow me to express the gratitude of the noble captains with a piece of valuable information. Do you know the location of the Cavalier, Grexus? Something like that, I. These gentlemen have narrowed it down to one potential destination. Your tech priest will receive the data log soon. Your cooperation is highly appreciated, Captain. Does that mean I'm free to go? As far as I'm concerned, you were never implicated in the Van Winter investigation. You can leave. It was a pleasure working with you, Inquisitor. If you need any help in the future, come and find me. I'll get my old ship back. And I'll be out there, among the stars. <laughs> it's what he injected? Now, did he tell you this was going to be a side effect? Like... Alright, so we may have found our ship, guys. The Astute Cavalier. Because I can feel my right leg. I can't feel my left toe still, but that's expected. All right. You knew the rest. Okay, well, that's good. But if the numbness doesn't go away, it goes to the hospital. Don't pull a mom and just not go. and dreams. Okay, so we got some coordinates for the Astute Cavalier. Can we find it? Uh, you know, I feel like they could be a little more astute. I, I, like, they're not very astute despite using that name, you know? Ambush on Apage, Apagea Minor. My worst fears come true. The Astute Cavalier has become the vessel of a chaos cult that is roaming the Tenebris, uh, tenebris sect, uh, subsector like a cursed derelict, spreading madness and corruption in its wake. I must put an end to this. Of course it is. I may be able to intercept the ship on Aphagia Minor, but it must be a surgical strike. I need the cursed uh, Astute Cavalier intact. Because of course, of course it's now a corrupt vessel. Nothing in a Warhammer game can ever be anything but corrupted. It's like, oh hey, we're going to this perfectly peaceful subsector. Aw oh, shit, it's not cursed. You can see they're being quite cavalier. Yeah. All Imperial Vox channels are reporting a serious demonic incursion. This world is teetering on the brink of destruction. Which indicates that the Cavalier could still be here. 
Those accursed cultists spread the taint of chaos like a disease. Is it a All these channels keep repeating the name of their leader, the Blood Drinker. I may have arrived just in time. I'll find him and interrogate him about the Cavalier. So, I'm kind of surprised my own ship hasn't been corrupted yet. I suspect that maybe because Omicron's fucking the USB ports, but... Of corruption in uh, the Warhammer universe. I'm, I'm sort of surprised my own ship hasn't just fallen to corruption. Oh, we got a chaos brain here. I think there's a word bearer. I think they're the ones that we've dealt with the most in this game is the word bearers. I haven't really dealt with any plague marines, surprisingly. Dealing with Myrtle's forces. Reloading. I uh, went through an entire quest chain earlier, Jeremy, where we dealt with corn. Well, not corn himself, but it's like. Why did you cancel? One of your biggest issues with 40k as a setting. Everything's corrupt. Everything is corrupt and or fallen to corruption. Loading. Kill these guys before we do that quest thing. What exactly are the tower again? I think we talked about those before. Oh. I'll grab these. Here, again. Open it and I will feast on your soul. Lord Raxus, this letter is a safety measure if I won't return to the base. I must warn you, we have serious doubts about Brother Kadax. I always thought his obsession with Herman Van Winter and this eight times damn ship was a mere nuisance, but there's something else. We spent years hunting for the astute Cavalier, and I followed orders when he sold our most sacred artifact to Van Winter, so we had to float blindly in the endless sea. I didn't complain when we abandoned the glorious damnation and moved to this junk heap. But now we are evading the dogs of the Corpse Emperor. Wreak havoc, spread chaos, open gates to the realm beyond. These were our orders, sanctified by the Despoiler himself. We are following the fickle dreams of a lunatic. Here is the key to Uther's secret. The Anathema Ultima cannot be born. The seal must be ours. Riddles upon riddles, since he got that damp scar epistle from, from the martyr. A warband has nothing to do with that ship, and who cares about Uther's corpse? We have a war to win. The early withdrawal from the Argon Prime was a shame, and our patrons are displeased. I feel it in my flesh. We have to discuss these matters with the others as soon as possible. New log entry. This is way more than the machinations of some mad cultists. It's the word bearers again. But this time, they had knowledge of the Martyr and Uther's secret, and they were hunting for Herman Van Winter. That Chaos Sorcerer I defeated also had ties to Raxus, the Chaos Sorcerer in charge of this unholy operation. They're basically space communists to oversimplify it? Okay. 
So would you, are you saying they would have supported the immense uh, desire to keep it then? Which words that are, are, are your favorite? Like, do you like when they shit themselves? I can't shoot from across there. It looks like we have to go this one. Probably discombobulate. Has a word bearer ever said discombobulate? Is that a word that's come out of their mouths? I've not heard that in this game. These fucks. Oh, we got a boss. You know what that means, right? Body saver. Oh. Okay, we had a boss. I don't know what the fuck happened to it, but I guess I deleted him. Captain, I have new information regarding your father's fate. Please tell me it's good news. Your father did indeed acquire Chaos Artifact from the Word Bearers. So, it's not good at all. I strongly suspect that those monsters tried to corrupt your father, probably to get their hands on the logbook. It's not over yet, Captain. damage is like my knocking him on the back. There's not even any shield damage, just For the Emperor. You're just too busy slaughtering them to hear. I feel like the rate at which I kill the chaos marines doesn't like line up with how like powerful these characters are supposed to be in the world. Like even as an inquisitor. Like, are Inquisitors, like, typically that strong? Like, are they able to take down uh, Space Marines? Like, I know authority-wise, and for, like, investigation, they their authority, like, brings a frame, but are they typically as strong as my characters display to be here in the game? Considered about Chaos Marines is that their equipment is pushing 10,000 years old. The Horus Heresy occurred in the year 30k. Okay, so they haven't upgraded their equipment? Like, they don't steal equipment or anything from, from the other Astartes that they kill, or...? Figured they just replenish through conquest and that kind of deal. Equipment they lose battle damage. I mean, yeah, that makes sense given how much battle they see. So I can, I can see that. But like in a typical setting, it's my are Inquisitors typically as strong as they're depicting my character to be in the game here. Or is it just a gameplay aspect and that's it?
I don't know if, uh, if the Demon Hunters was adequately showing the strength of a Chaos Knight. Or not Chaos Knight, but a, uh, a, a, a Space Marine because the guy moved twice and was uh, critically injured, so. Man. Poor, poor Storm. The man did his best and got injured, healed, immediately injured, and then miraculously healed again. And then died. Since it's a battle of the class I'm playing are, are, are basically space marines in their own right. Oh, that's cool. Oh, right. I remember a big thing about uh, them getting a, a, about the Warhammer 40k universe being very upset that suddenly uh, there were female space marines. Is this what they were talking about? Because only men could be space marines. never mad if they give me something fun to play. Seriously, if anybody else in chat has like more tidbits they want to share, please go for it. I love hearing the lore of this series. Alright. Oh, this guy. I assume that the embodied saint form isn't just a uh, gameplay thing, it's actually something in like the lore then. So you will say, as the lore stood about five years ago, female space marines legitimately wouldn't have made sense. The space marines were uh, a creation of the emperor. Uh, when he designed them, he designed the gene seed with male biology in mind. Okay. Makes sense. It would have been heresy for anyone to tamper with the gene seed. Now, to be fair, everything in this universe is turns out to be heresy in some form. Is what I'm finding in my uh, inquisi uh, inquisitional uh, investigation. Butte, the Primark of the Ultramarines has returned, they could implement female Space Marines in a way that makes sense. 
Okay, you have to explain the infamous that. infamous blood drinker. The man, the myth, the target. The man? That's just the woman. Out, but I'll use non-lethal methods. I have the cultist leader in custody. He is incapacitated. Take him to the ship she. and have the Magos Balogus prepare the necessary serums. Understood, Inquisitor. What is going on here? There's a disconnect between what the uh, dialogue was saying. Anyway, the Primarchs are basically the Emperor's sons. He created them from scratch to lead the Space Marine Legions. Okay. So they would have some authority to rewrite a Gene Seed or create a new Gene Seed? Alright. Oh, Endure. 100,000 damage while in Embodied State form. We got a resolve for that. Passive skill point. Alright. So then we're gonna put that into defense. Get a little more fire resistance, heat resistance. There we go. For our next point, we're gonna put into here. Which will give us the last point in the movement tree, which uh gain cooldown recovery rate equal to your missing HP. Coolio. We have to activate nine more traps or deal with nine more traps to get ourselves a uh, this damage over time tree. And suppression, I gotta complete more side quests apparently. I don't know how I haven't completed side quests apparently. I don't know what's considered a side quest, I guess. Alright, let's do our uh, inventory stuff and then we'll take a break. Let's sell our stuff. And we are done. Okay, give me a sec here, guys. We'll be right back, and then we'll go talk to Metrodora Thelma, Thelma up there, and uh, we will continue on in just a sec, and we will continue with Jeremy's lore drop. Thank you for that, Jeremy. I'll be right back. 